This is Joshua Mills, and you are listening to the Activating Angels in Your Life audio. I want to help assist you in making a real, authentic, and lasting connection with the angels that God has already placed in your life. Through these audio tracks, I want to invite you to join with me as we focus on the Word of God and we allow the Holy Spirit to lead us into deeper spiritual realities. Right now, find a comfortable place to relax and focus as the Holy Spirit begins to lead you into these angelic activations and heavenly encounters. Matthew 6, verse 33, encourages us to seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, and He will give you everything you need. The Amplified Bible says it in this way, but first and most importantly, seek, aim, strive after His kingdom and His righteousness, His way of doing and being right, the attitude and character of God, and all these things will be given to you also. Some of those things that will be given to you are God's promises that are outlined in the scriptures. Do you realize that God has promised to surround your life with angels? Yes, He has. And I believe that as you seek His kingdom, this realm will become more and more apparent to you. Our desire in pursuing these things is that Jesus Christ might be lifted up and that He might be exalted in our lives in an even more vibrant way. Although we will be activating angels together, my desire is that you would ultimately see Jesus Christ surrounding your life with His loving care and concern. God has given us access to His angels because He loves us dearly. My prayer is that you would know God's love, experience His love, and embrace His love through developing a healthy and authentic relationship with Jesus Christ. He is the commander of the hosts of angels, and you will not be able to properly connect with them or with Him until you allow Jesus Christ to be the Lord of your life. If you've never invited Him into your heart to be your personal Lord and Savior, just pray this prayer together with me right now. Say, Jesus, come into my heart. I invite you to be my Lord and Savior. I give you my sin in exchange for the life that only you can give. Thank you for cleansing me with your blood and giving me a brand new start. I receive your gift of salvation. If you've just prayed that prayer by faith, you can be sure that Jesus now lives in your heart and He will begin to help you in this spiritual journey. In the Bible, the Holy Spirit is called the Spirit of Truth. And as He begins to lead us through these activations, we can be assured of His divine protection, safety, and truthfulness in these encounters.
there are many angels in heaven, multiplied thousands upon thousands of angels in heaven. The writer of Hebrews says, You have come to Mount Zion, to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to countless thousands of angels in a joyful gathering. I want you to close your eyes and see yourself in heaven right now. This is your spiritual posture. The Bible says, For he raised us from the dead along with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms because we are united with Christ Jesus. You are seated with Christ in the heavenly realms. The Amplified Bible says it in this way, and He raised us up together with Him when we believed, and seated us with Him in the heavenly places, because we are in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 2, verse 6. Right now, you are in Christ Jesus. Right now, you are in the heavenly places. Right now, you are seated in the heavenly realms. Look around you. What do you see? Do you see angels? What do they look like? Do you see the Lord Jesus Christ? What does He look like? The ancient prophet Isaiah saw himself in heaven, and he said, I saw the Lord. He was sitting on a lofty throne, and the train of His robe filled the temple Attending him were mighty seraphim, each having six wings. With two wings they covered their faces, with two they covered their feet, and with two they flew. They were calling out to each other, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of heaven's armies. The whole earth is filled with his glory. Their voices shook the temple to its foundations, and the entire building was filled with smoke. John the Apostle saw himself in heaven. In his writings he stated, I saw a door standing open in heaven, and the same voice I had heard before spoke to me like a trumpet blast. The voice said, come up here, and I will show you what must happen after this. And instantly, I was in the Spirit. I looked again, and I heard the voices of thousands and millions of angels around the throne, and of the living beings and the elders. And they sang in a mighty chorus, Worthy is the Lamb who was slaughtered to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea, and they sang blessing and honor and glory and power belong to the one sitting on the throne and to the Lamb forever and ever.
And the four living beings said, Amen. And the twenty-four elders fell down and worshipped the Lamb. Can you see the angels worshipping the Lord? Do you want to join with them as they worship? Begin to declare His holiness. Holy, holy, holy. Jesus, you are holy.
there are specific angels that are assigned as spiritual guardians and protectors over your life. The Holy Scriptures confirm this. For example, Psalm 91 says, Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. He will cover you with His feathers. He will shelter you with His wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. What are these feathers that the scriptures are speaking about? And who do these wings belong to? Of course, we know that God himself doesn't have wings, but his angels do. One of the ways that God promises to guard you and keep you safe from all harm is by covering you with the feathers of his angels and sheltering you underneath their majestic wings of protection. This truth is further clarified in verses 10 to 12. Here we see plainly, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home, for he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. In other words, you have guardian angels assigned to protect you. God has assigned them in your life from the very time that you were born. They surround you as you work. They travel with you when you journey. They sit with you when you rest, and they watch over you as you sleep. God has given them charge over you. They care for you. They love you. And they want to see you succeed and fulfill your destiny in life. This truth is confirmed in Psalm 34, verse 7, when it says, For the angel of the Lord is a guard. He surrounds and defends all who fear him. Your guardian angel is your friend. They will always defend you, protect you, support you, and watch over you, because that's the assignment that God has given them to do. According to Hebrews 1 verse 14, the Bible calls them servants, spirits sent to care for people. Consider this, your guardian angels know more about you than any other person on earth. Do you think God might want you to know your guardian angel as well? I do. Right now, let's ask God to lead us and guide us by His Holy Spirit into this truth. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you asking for greater clarity regarding the truth about the guardian angels you have placed in our lives. Help us to see, sense, discern, and recognize these servant spirits that you have sent to care for us. Amen. Now I want you to relax and focus as the Holy Spirit begins to lead you into this truth. As you rest, you can trust that God will begin painting spontaneous pictures and images across the screen of your heart. Do you see anything? What do you see? Are there any colors, patterns, or shapes that you recognize? Can you feel anything? What do you sense? Can you feel the comforting peace of God surrounding you right now? Do you feel the brush of the angel wings or the breeze of spirit wind?
what do you discern? Are your guardian angels tall? Do they have any wings or no wings at all? Are they wearing brilliant white robes or holding anything specific in their hands? What do they want to show you? Keep looking. Do you recognize your guardian angels? Sometimes they actually look just like you. Take a moment to pay attention to what the Holy Spirit is showing you. One of the first things that people do when they first meet is they offer their names as an introduction. You may want to ask your guardian angel to whisper their name or reveal it to you in some other way. You may see or sense an impression of a word. Take some time to ask now, what is your name? Once you ask your angel for its name, listen carefully and then prayerfully consider the name you receive. Knowing the name of your angel can help to reveal something important in regard to their characteristics, function, and main purpose in your life. Remember, we partner with our guardian angels for God's purposes. We do not worship them or pray to them but we certainly appreciate them and thank God that he has sent these heavenly messengers into our lives. Jesus is your healer. In the Bible, we know that God anointed Jesus with the Holy Spirit and with power. Then Jesus went around doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, 
for God was with him. And the scriptures clearly state that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. When Jesus lived here on earth, he served as our greatest example. He said that we would do what he had done and even greater things than these. So not only will we live as Jesus lived, but our connection to heaven will be greater. Do you know that even Jesus needed the ministry of angels? Yes, he did. When Jesus knew the time to journey to the cross was quickly approaching and he needed to prepare for it, as he was praying in the Garden of Gethsemane, God sent an angel to help him. The Father could have come himself and strengthened Jesus, or Jesus could have received supernatural power in another way. But the Bible makes it clear that Jesus received supernatural strength through the ministry of an angel. There are angels willing and ready to minister to you as well. There is a beautiful miracle healing testimony that's found on the pages of John chapter 5. But in that same chapter, we also find additional insight in regards to one of the ways that God can release healing into our lives. This portion of scripture speaks about healing with the angels. I want to read it for you now from the Amplified Bible. Now in Jerusalem, near the Sheep Gate, there is a pool, which is called in Hebrew, Jewish Aramaic, Bethesda. Having five porticos, alcoves, colonnades. In these porticos lay a great number of people who were sick, blind, lame, withered, waiting for the stirring of the water for an angel of the Lord went down into the pool at appointed seasons and stirred up the water. The first one to go in after the water was stirred was healed of his disease. Right now, I can sense angels of healing beginning to stir these healing waters once again for you. I want you to close your eyes, begin to relax, let go of all worry, fear, let go of frustration. Right now I want you to see these healing angels stirring the healing waters for you. See a healing pool that is being opened for you right now. As you focus in the spirit, you might see swirling light or sense a flood of peace, love, and comfort. Open yourself to receive this true healing. It's coming for spirit, soul, and body. Angels of healing are being released to minister to your needs right now. They are stirring these spiritual waters for you. By faith, take a step into these miracle waters. They're opening before you. Step all the way in. Allow yourself to be made holy and clean as you are washed by the cleansing of God's Word. Don't be afraid 
for God is with you. Don't be discouraged, for God is here to help. He will strengthen you and help you. He will hold you up with His victorious right hand. We are assured of this promise by Isaiah 41, verse 10. He is sending His angels right now to attend to your every need. He is the great physician, and His angels are His nursing attendants. Psalm 41, verse 3 proclaims, The Lord nurses His children when they are sick and restores them to health. Deuteronomy 7, verse 15 says, The Lord will protect you from all sickness. He will not let you suffer from the terrible diseases. We know that even if the righteous person faces many troubles, the Lord comes to the rescue each time. According to Psalm 34, verse 19, Thank you, Lord, for sending your angels of healing to attend to the needs of sickness, infirmity, illness, and pain. Your healing has been firmly secured through the finished work of Christ on Calvary. It was prophesied in Isaiah 53, verse 5, but He was pierced for your rebellion, crushed for your sins. He was beaten so that you could be whole. He was whipped so that you could be healed. These words have been fulfilled through the life of Jesus Christ. The manifestation of this promise is available to all who will believe in Him and call on His name. Receive your healing right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Let the swirling, healing waters of God surround your life right now. You are surrounded by God's love and His angels of healing. Do you desire to live without the heavy burden of debt? 
Do you long to have abundant supply in every area of your life? I've got good news for you. There are angels of abundance available for you. I've met some of these angels, and I want you to meet them too. This same God who takes care of me will supply all of your needs from His glorious riches, according to Philippians 4, verse 19. There's no doubt that God wants you to not only meet these angels, but also learn how to cooperate with them to bring abundant provision into your life. In 3 John, verse 2, the Amplified Bible says, Beloved, I pray that in every way you may succeed and prosper and be in good health physically, just as I know your soul prospers spiritually. God wants you to prosper in spirit, soul, and body. And because this is a godly desire, He has created a class of angels that can help you in this way. These angels of abundance can help you align with creative ideas and new streams of income. These angels of abundance can help bring wisdom to you for proper stewardship of your resources. These angels of abundance can help you correctly navigate through financial waters that seem to be over your head. Let them help you. One thing you must know is that angels always respond to the spoken word of God when it's decreed with faith and boldness. The psalmist commanded the angels, saying, Praise the Lord, you angels, you mighty ones who carry out His plans, listening for each of His commands. Yes, praise the Lord, you armies of angels who serve Him and do His will. As I speak God's word of abundance to you now, I'm going to personalize it for you so that you can be assured that angels of abundance are watching over those words to perform them in your life as you believe them, receive them, and act upon them. The Lord is your shepherd. You have all that you need. Psalm 23, verse 1. Even strong young lions sometimes go hungry. But as you trust in the Lord, you will lack no good thing. Psalm 34, verse 10. The Lord says, I will bless this city and make it prosperous. I will satisfy its poor with food. Psalm 132, verse 15. The blessing of the Lord makes you rich, and He adds no sorrow with it. Proverbs 10, Verse 22. You are blessed as you trust in the Lord and make the Lord your hope and confidence. You are like a tree planted along a riverbank with roots that reach deep into the water. Such trees are not bothered by the heat or worried by long months of drought. Their leaves stay green, and they never stop producing fruit. Jeremiah 17, verses 7 and 8. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. Seek the kingdom of God 
above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need. Matthew 6, verse 33. If you know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give good gifts to you when you ask him? Matthew 7, verse 11. Jesus said, My purpose is to give you a rich and satisfying life. John 10, verse 10. God will generously provide all you need. Then you will always have everything you need and plenty left over to share with others. 2 Corinthians 9, verse 8. In Romans 8, verse 32, Paul asked the question, since God did not spare even his own son, but gave him up for us all, won't he also give us everything else? The answer is yes. God wants to supply for you, provide for you, and cause you to live in the lavish realms of his abundance. He is releasing angels of abundance into your life right now to bring you into that heavenly reality so that you can continually say, Great is the Lord who delights in blessing his servant with peace. Whenever God's people pray, angels show up on the scene. James 5 verse 16 reminds us to confess our sins to each other and pray for each other so that we may be healed. The earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces wonderful results. This is one of the ways that God will use to release his angels of breakthrough 
into our lives. This is how He brings success and wonderful results. The angel Gabriel told Daniel that he had been sent to him on behalf of the prayers that were offered to the Lord. In Daniel 10, verse 12, Gabriel said, Do not be afraid, Daniel, since the first day that you set your mind to gain understanding and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard, and I have come in response to them. When Peter was jailed and awaiting execution, it was the prayers of the believers that sent an angel to rescue him from the prison cell. After Cornelius spent time in prayer, he received the most unusual visitation from an angel in his home. Your prayers will dispatch angels on divine assignments to the earth. As you pray, you may even see a ladder stretching from the heavens down into your home, just like Jacob did in Genesis 28. The Bible says, as he slept, he dreamed of a stairway that reached from the earth up to heaven, and he saw the angels of God going up and down the stairway. At the top of the stairway stood the Lord, and He said, I am the Lord, the God of your grandfather Abraham, and the God of your father Isaac. The ground you are lying on belongs to you. I am giving it to you and your descendants. What a revelation! for Jacob to receive. But it was not for Jacob alone. This angel encounter was for you too. Galatians 3 verse 29 states, Now that you belong to Christ, you are the true children of Abraham. You are his heirs, and God's promise to Abraham belongs to you. Through Jesus Christ, you are an heir to the promises of God. And Hebrews 1.14 states that angels have been instructed to perform whatever is necessary to establish God's covenant in the earth with mankind. They are servant spirits, heavenly messengers that are assigned to minister according to to your instructions. Your prayers release these angels that are assigned to serve you spiritually, emotionally, and physically. I want to encourage you to begin praying in the Spirit right now. As you do, angels are being released to bring breakthrough and success to your life.
as we prepare to close these spoken word angelic activations. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, I thank you for angel encounters in my home, in my place of business, and everywhere I go. I thank you for surrounding my life with your guardian angels that bring divine protection and comfort. I can sense their watchful presence around me now. Help me to continually be aware of their activity in my life. I know that your angels of healing and abundant provision are working right now to bring forth a greater harvest in every area of my life where there has been lack and despair. I trust you, Lord, and I thank you for giving me a greater awareness of these servant spirits, your heavenly messengers, your angels. You have opened up my spirit eyes to discern these angels moving in my life. I praise you and give you all glory. May Jesus Christ be magnified in my life at all times. Amen. Take some additional time to ponder upon these things that I've shared with you. I would recommend reading my book, Seeing Angels, to receive further insight and knowledge for recognizing and interacting with your heavenly messengers. This book is available through Whitaker House Publishers and can be found through your local or preferred online bookstore. If you are interested in additional books, audios, and other resources for enhancing your spiritual life, I would like you to visit our website at www.joshuamills.com. Now I want to encourage you to listen to the audio, instrumental versions and allow yourself to move fully into deeper heavenly encounters as you learn how to begin activating angels in your life.